Hey YouTube, my dog is 99 here. What's up? Um, here's a deck profile for my Yu-Gi-Oh video game on the Nintendo DS 2009 Stardust Accelerator. Um, this deck is a little retro version of the old Teledad deck that format, but it's called Teleport Plasma. The reason why I have this because I don't have Dark Home Dragon in this game, and I didn't unlock the Phantom Darkness pack in this game yet. So here's the deck. Here's what I run. One Break of the Magical Warrior. It's a pretty good card. You summon it. It gets a counter. And you can blow up a back row with it. But if you don't use it yet, it's a 19 beat stick. It's really good. By the way, this is this ban list is from the former back in, back in uh, 2009, I think. One Card Trooper. You mill free cards. It's really good when you mill, like, uh, Dasher, M Malicious, um, Zorado, Jinzo, stuff like that, and Plague Spreader. It will really help you out, mill out your deck, and gives you a lot of good possibility. One Cyber Dragon, um, really good. You special summon a monster. You, when you have no monsters on the field, you special summon it. It's really good. It's really and it's good for like, you know, synchro in. One Zorado, I consider this a Dark Arm Dragon in my mind because when you have four or more Dark monsters with different names, you can special summon it from your hand. Like, you can tribute some one monster. Like, you can special summon that from your hand if you have four different names. Like, you tribute one monster instead of two. And its effect is you discard one dark from your hand to the graveyard to kill all monsters your opponents will be able to end phase. If you use the effect, it goes to the graveyard. So, this is like a dark arm dragon card, in my opinion. Two Dasher. Really good card. Like... When this, when this is in the grave, like if, for your example, you draw a monster in the next draw phase, you can reveal it and immediately special summon it. So if you draw like a Dark Lord Zorado, a Jinzo, or a Gore, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Two Diamond Dude. Um, it flips over spell cards like D Draw, Brain Control, Allure, Heavy, Gold Sark, Monster Reborn. Except, etc. It's really good and very powerful. Free Destiny Hero Malicious. Um, staple. This was a staple when it used to be at free. Because if uh, like, like like I can tell you this, if Malicious was at free right now, Telly Dad would be more alive. Like Malicious was very good. This is why I went down the two because it was really good combination when it's D Drawed or Foolish or something like that. Chain to emergency teleport to get a cream one. Synchro for an automatic easy level eight. Because back when Telly Dad was first released, came created, there wasn't many synchro monsters. The only monsters you had synchro monsters you had at that time was Gaia Knight, Gaia Knight the Force of the Earth, Goyo Guardian, Fought Rule Artrine, Red Dragon Artrine, Stardust Dragon, Colossal Fighter, Goyo Guardian, Magical Android. That was all you pretty much had of Synchros back then, along with Junk Warrior, but that didn't really help that stack. Destiny of Plasma, his effect's pretty decent. Um, when you can special, you can tribute summon this, you can special summon this by tributing free monsters you control. It's really good to use, and you, once per turn, you can select one monster on your opponent's field and equip it, and it gains half its attack points. And when, as long as that's face up on the field, all monster effects on your opponent, on all effect, monster effects of face up monsters in your opponent's field are negated. So this can negate Spear Reaper, Marshmallow, Rescue Rabbit in the future, Rescue Cat, anything. It's really good. Once Stratos, it searches out any and all D hero monsters you have in your deck. So you have. You have a few targets. It's really good, and it's good 1800 beater. And you can use the secondary effect to blow up a spell, some spell and trap cards. Gores, hand trap. Not much to say about self-explanatory. Two spies, special summon another one. It's really good. One Jinzo, self-explanatory. Not much really to say about it. Two Karibons, really good staple. Pay 100 negate attack, and it's really combo with malicious. With the uh, the teleports, really good. Plague spreader, standard tuner. I got two of them in this deck, so it's really good. You send one card from the top of your, from your hand to the top of your deck, special summon it, it's really good. Um, Psychic Commander, self-explanatory, decreases monsters, attack up to 500 if you control another psychic monster on the field. And Sangin' Staple, 
Now for the spells. Free allures. Draw two cards and remove from play a dark type monster. Self-explanatory. One brain control. Very good. Take control of your points monster. You can use it for a tribute or tr or use it for a synchro summoning. Free D draws. For the malicious, this is a diamond doom effects and dasher. Really self-explanatory. Really good cardy. Two emergency teleports. I didn't want to run free because free was kind of a dead draw, so I stuck with two. It's pretty good. You special summon Karee Bonds a second commander. Uh, um, Gold Jacopicus. I just added that card in just for the hell of it. I'll search it out for like maybe a plasma, there's a Stratos, your malicious, a lore, stuff like that. Heavy Storm must be one of the two big two staples because Dark Hole was still banned at the time. Now for the traps, triple bombless. Bombless was badass when it was at free, but it's okay too, but it was really good at free. Mirror Force, staple. Two Psalm Judgments. When Psalm Judgment was not limited, this was a very good card to use. I, I hope maybe next format. On March 2013, they put Psalm Judgment back to two. I would really love to see that. And on Toronto Tribute. That's a staple, and it's really good. Now for the extra deck. This is not much, but here it is. Ally Justice Catastor. Armory Arm. Two Black Rose Dragons nukes the field. Two Brionax clears your opponent's field. You can bounce cards from your opponent's field pretty much. Gaia Dragon. Gaia Knight, the Force of the Earth, my bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Two Goyo Guardians. This card was so freaking badass. It should have been brought back to one because this was not really a problem. Brio was the main problem, but whatever. This is my. I hope this. So anyone who's a fan of Goyo Guardian and who has their fingers crossed that it will come back for next format in March, please lend your support. It's a really good card. Magical Android staple, level five staple. Mistworm, really good card. He's like virtually the new level 9 Synchro Monster. People use, still use Synchro Monsters because Trisha look out the band hammer. Red Dragon Archfiend. Really good card back in the back in that era because it blows up all your opponent's monsters in defense. It's not really used that much anymore, but it's still, it was still one of my favorite Synchros. Stardust Dragon. Double them. Protects your cards from card destruction effects by sacrificing itself and special summon itself during the end phase. And this was my most one of my most favorite Synchro Monsters in that era. Fought Ruler. Not only does it you gain life points equal to that to the monster of the attack the attack of the monster that was destroyed by this card, if it's targeted by a trap card, you can pay one thousand life points to negate it. It's really it's really amazing. Twenty seven hundred attack. It's really good. This can go run over a Stardust. This can run over a, a Black Rose and a Catastor. It's really good. But watch out for Goyo Guardian and RDA. It's really deadly because if Goyo rams into it. Unless you have a shrink at hand, it'll be destroyed and they gain control of it. It's really, really good, but you got to be careful when you use it. So, yeah, that was my Teleport Plasma deck from the World Championship 2009 game. Hope you all enjoy. I'll have more videos up soon. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out, guys.